Hey guys, it's Jack here. Now, I posted a question a few days ago on my on my social media uh, accounts, just asking if there's anyone out there who wants me to go over um, and review your dropshipping store, because I think I'd be able to give a bit of help to those of you out there. So I've had a few people send me their, uh, their store links, and I'm going to go through and review them and look at each of these stores and see what I would personally improve on now. I can basically tell you what needs to be improved only going by my personal experience okay so i've had stores that have gone over 15,000 in revenue per month i haven't become a millionaire out of out of drop shipping so this is going by my own personal experiences and testing many 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 different products so i mean like testing at least over like 15 different products and some of them um you know a lot of them being failures um some of them being you know, successful products. So we'll get straight into this. Um, that's just to give you a bit of a background on on, on me. But uh, I want to run through these stores and we'll have a look at them and then we'll give them a quick uh, a quick rundown and see like the product pages and things that will work. So first, and I won't reveal the names of the people who own these stores as well, just to keep it more private. So first store I've got here is Out and About Fitness. Now, obviously this is a, this is a fitness store. So we'll review this one first. Now, I think they do sell multiple products. And again, this is like the first time I'm seeing these stores. So we'll have a look here. Now the start one, if this is a one product store and you're selling resistance bands, now this is fine, unless this is your, uh, this is your best seller. So what I would personally do here is I would add in uh, your brand name into the title. So they know, the customers know when they go into your store that it's your, uh, that it's your brand. So I'd put in out and about fitness dash resistance bands or just out and about fitness resistance bands. You could even put out, out and about fitness trademark, put the little TM symbol resistance bands, just so they know that it's yours. Also, the next thing you want to do here is you want to get rid of shipping calculated at checkout. Okay, so I don't know if it's the same on your product page. We'll look at your product page. But when you put in shipping calculated at checkout here, it means that... Um, that your customers are more like when I look at this, I'm expecting the price to go up. Okay. So what you can do here is you can either put, if you've got free shipping, put free shipping here, or I would just take it out and just put something here, maybe a drop down menu about how long the shipping is going to take. And I would put the price of shipping. If, if you're charging your customers for shipping, put the price of shipping. If even if it's a few dollars, put it at the checkout page. Don't put it here. I would just put, if you want shipping info, I put it up here or I'd put it down the bottom here. Okay, in your shipping policy somewhere here. Now I can see here as well. Oops, I've gone to the wrong page here. We'll check that out in a second. I can see here that you've got free shipping on all orders. So there's no reason to have shipping calculated at checkout. Okay, you can usually get rid of this uh, in your theme settings um, or you can go to your languages, which is next to edit code when you edit your store and you can get rid of this here. But it's usually very simple to get rid of. So I'm looking at, uh, we'll look at some of the some of the uh, the product pages as well, because overall, I don't mind your starting, your, your homepage. Uh, I don't mind the photo here. It is, obviously you can tell if, if people have seen dropshipping stores before, you can tell it's a dropshipping store, but for people who don't know what dropshipping stores look like, it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad homepage. I would probably add, try and add a little bit more branding here. Um, I'm guessing you haven't got any of the products uh, branded or sent to your house or got your own content done. So we'll, we'll check some of these here, but the homepage isn't too bad. I would just put here, like if this was a bestseller, then I'd put that it's a bestseller here. And uh, we'll, I'll touch a little bit on these product photos as well in the description as well. But we'll go into the product pages. We'll check out a couple. I want to check out the... I don't mind these either, this pop-up, okay, the save 10%. Now, for me, I got rid of it on my store because my personal take was, okay, I don't really like the pop-up on my store. One thing to note here with this is I probably even do a dollar amount, even if it's like five bucks, because when you say save 10%, uh, people, it means that, and it sounds, it sounds pretty dumb, but... It's true. People don't want to do math. So they think, okay, well, you know, it's $17. What's 10%? A lot of people don't care for that. If you put in save $2.50 or save $5, a 
they know. They know how much $5 is, is going to take off the product, right? So if you were to do this, I would say to do a dollar amount, but these aren't bad at all, okay? Especially if you know your product is a, is a good seller, the top seller, then you can um, you can chuck this in. It's a good, uh, good conversion thing. So, all right, we'll look at some of these products here. I wanna look at the resistance bands. I would also make this to just appear on one product page, not to appear every time you change pages. Cause it gets to the point if you do this and you go next page and I'm guessing it will pop up again. You want it to only pop up once. Okay. Do it once every like few minutes, once every five minutes, or just do it on only one particular page. You can set that up in the Shopify app uh, that you use to set this up. Okay. Cause you don't want it on every single page. You don't want it to pop up like this. It will annoy, it will annoy customers to the point that uh, they'll leave. Okay, so just take note of that. So we'll do resistance bands or we'll do something that's on sale. Okay, we'll do these push-up bars. Now, I don't mind the product photos, okay, but I would uh, add in something here. I would add in GIFs of the product being used. You know, you've got the easy installation here, which is good. It shows you how to install it. Now I'm guessing this here. So another thing here, you've got a different brand name on the photo. Okay, so I'm guessing these are just the photo you, use photos you've got from AliExpress or um, or just from the supplier, right? So it's counterintuitive to what your brand is. So your brand's out and about fitness, but you've got iStyle here. Okay, so that's something to note as well. One thing I see with a lot of product pages as well is that uh, there's just not enough going on on the product page in terms of showing people how the products work. Okay, so I like the style. The style of it's fine. You've got all these here. I would get rid of this. Okay, don't worry about the sharing. No one's going to share your product. Okay, you're not. It's they will only do that if you are a massive brand. So there's no point in in doing that. Uh, one thing I'm noticing here on all your products as well, uh, which I'll get into in a second, is reviews. Okay, but what I want to do, what I I would like to see on these um, on these pages is that. Uh, you have a, you have more going on, okay? So it shows you, okay, you want to take your workout to the next level, tells you easy to install, hand grip. So these are all nice to read, right? It's like, okay, even if people know what this is, you want to show them being used. Show, get a GIF, even if you start off, you know, what you want ultimately is to have your own content. So order the products, or order, the, order your top sellers and get the content done yourself or do the content yourself, film it yourself, right? You want GIFs in the in the description here. So we're at a point now where unless people know they want the product from that specific brand, they need more. You need to give them more than just some photos and a description, okay? Obviously, it depends on the product as well, but uh, a lot of the time, that's what that's what will happen. So I suggest in these, uh, you get gifts and then also get reviews. You don't have any reviews on these products and reviews are social proof. Like you need reviews on these products, uh, even if you just import them from AliExpress you need reviews on them. Otherwise, no one's going to know. There's no social proof. No customers are going to know if these products are real, if these products work, if they're good, okay? It's going to be hard for you as well uh, with this brand because with these particular products, there's so many of them out there, okay? There's so many of these particular products. People can go to Amazon. People can go to Kmart and Target. They can pick these up for around the same price, if not cheaper, right? People can... People can buy an adjustable skipping rope. People can buy a foam roller, right? You can go out and, and buy it from Kmart. Even these bottles, you know, because there's no branding, there's no differentiation on, on your products. It's just the simple products. So if I was to see, for instance, for me, when I sold a fitness product, I sold a resistance band set. I sold a 12, 12 piece set and it was a set that wasn't being sold in retailers. I was selling it online during COVID and I was selling it during a time where people couldn't get fitness equipment uh, in store. They couldn't shop, and most people didn't even have it on Amazon. So that's why a fitness product did well for me, because I fit into a market where people couldn't just go out and buy it. And it was a, it was a product, it was a bundle that, that people weren't really selling at the time, right? So these here, a lot of these products are sold at a lot of fitness stores, and, and even a lot of online fitness retailers. So it's going to be hard to push these. What I would do is maybe go along with more products like this, okay? And do products that you don't really see too often. You see these push-up bars everywhere. You see the resistance bands everywhere. Go with products that, you know, yoga mats are, are 
completely saturated. Go with products. Maybe you could even go with like an acupuncture mat if you haven't seen them. It's like the, the mat with the little spikes that you lay on helps blood circulation. So apart from that, the products that you do go with, make sure they've got gifts, make sure they've got reviews. Okay, so apart from that, I would probably try and up the branding on this store and uh, make it more about your brand. So your logo is red and white, make this a whole red and white theme. I can see you've got the red here, right? Make it more about your theme colors, okay? These are more of like an orangey. Make them red, right? Make them the same color as your logo, okay? And, and just really brand it, make it more personal. Because when people come up, you know, and they look at this store, they might see the brand, but they're not really going to associate the colors or the, the products or the way it's presented with your brand. They just see your logo and then they see the products as a separate thing. You need to combine the two, okay? So we'll go to the next page. Next one is Happy Breeds. Now, again, we've got uh, some pop-ups. So we've got sign up and receive exclusive updates. This here doesn't work. Okay, unless you are a big, uh, a big brand, to be honest, no one cares about the, the pop-ups where you just put in your email to get news. No one knows who you are. No one's going to care about the news that you give out. That's just the, the raw truth of it. Uh, what I would do is do similar to the last store and offer something, okay? Offer a five, $5 discount, okay? If you want a percentage discount, do something higher, like 25%, right? I would still prefer a dollar discount, but you gotta offer something. Okay, offer, even if it's like you offer free shipping or something, something of monetary value, something that's going to make them think, okay, this is worth putting in my email. No one these days, no one cares about putting in their email just to receive news about a brand that they might only shop once at. You got to think of it like that, okay? And you've got here, so it says stay updated, get free shipping on your first order plus updates and offers. This one is a little bit better, but you've also got two here now. You've got two pop-ups. So what I would do is keep one, keep the first one that popped up in the middle of the screen and offer a dollar discount, okay? Even if it's just five bucks or even if you wanna do $3 or whatever it is, do that, okay? Because this stuff here, just to stay updated, no one cares unless, like customers don't care unless you're a brand that people know. Okay, so we'll have a look at the home page now. I don't mind the layout of this store. It's actually not bad. And I don't mind that you've got uh, these photos that change, okay? So that's that's pretty good. The quality of the images aren't the best, right? The quality of the images aren't the best. They might show up better on uh, on uh, mobile. A lot of people do shop mobile now. Uh, and this is probably something that I should be checking out as well as how they do on mobile because mo most people shop on, mo shop on mobile, but you need to make sure that it's still... Uh, applies to PC because a lot of people still still go on their computer and check out these websites, right? So here's the featured product. Now, uh, we might as well go into that. So again, the same thing here is you need reviews and you need more, more happening with uh, the description. So all you've got here is that it's a pet water bottle, it's 300, mil, 300 milliliters is being consistently filtered by carbon filter. So the actual product itself is good because you've got a carbon filter. This is the first time I've seen that you've got a carbon filter here that filters the water, but you need to show people that. You need to make sure that, that you show people that it's a healthier alternative, okay? So what I would do here is add in a lot more into this product page, right? Talk about how unfiltered water could harm your dogs. If that's the case, make sure that it's not false claims, right? But you need to make sure that you're showing, even if you show like a diagram, a GIF of a diagram of the of the water being filtered into, a, you know, into the bottle and how much cleaner it is, how much better it is for your for your pet, right? You need to show why these people are buying this bottle, okay? Again, get rid of this. Get rid of the tax included. It ship out. Just get rid of it, okay? Um, as well, get rid of all of these. The without filter, with filter, without filter, all of these different options, you can change that on your product page. If you've got different colors, just change the uh, change the variety. I can't think of the word right now. Change the change it to just colors, okay? Don't worry about without filter, with filter. Just sell the one with the filter because that's going to be your differentiator. Sell with the filter and do different colors and name them, okay? Name, name, just name them a simple color. 
right? You can change that on your product page and then get rid of ships from China. You can get rid of that. A variation is the word I'm looking for. Get rid of ships from China. Okay, just get rid of that altogether and just do colors. Okay, you don't want people to just see straight flat out that they're getting shipped from China. You can put on your product page that it's getting shipped from an international warehouse, right? But don't have that it just shipped from China here because it's also an option and that's not good. You don't want to have this as an option because people are thinking, okay, well, this is just getting shipped from China. Even if it's getting made from China, most products are getting made from China, but you need to get rid of that, okay? Now, these here, I've seen these, these used to work back in like the 2018, 2019 days, maybe even early 2020. I used to have these on my store, but I got rid of them because they don't seem to work as, as much as what they used to. Um, these seem more of like a gimmicky thing these days, so I would get rid of them. Um, and also another thing is reviews as well. You need reviews on your product, okay? One other thing I would do with this product is put a sale price. So I would probably recommend starting these at maybe about $29, see how they go, and uh, put like a, you know, a, a sale price where it's crossed out here and uh, make the price bigger too. I don't mind the layout of the store. I would probably put the logo uh, on a transparent background as well. And you've got here, okay, frequently asked questions. We'll go into that. Uh, happy breeds. Yeah, that's fine. I would probably change this to maybe happy breeds at support.com because you can change where the email goes to. So you can have the email look like happy breeds um, at support.com and it will go to your Outlook email. You can change that in your settings. Okay, so that's fine. How long? Please allow three to five business days. After that, it will take seven to 14 business days. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep, you've got a bit about you. I would also consider potentially changing the font. I don't mind this, but this may deter some people because it looks more like typewriting and you want something that's a bit more softer on the eyes to look at. That's just what I've noticed as well. Um, other than that, it doesn't actually look like, it doesn't look too bad. That might just be nitpicking at this point. So I would take the legal out of the, out of the header and I'll just put it in the footer. Okay. And just put, instead of legal, you got to put them separately. Okay. Just put private privacy policy, refund policy, terms of service, put them all down the bottom separately. Okay. That's uh, usually better than just putting legal there. I haven't seen many stores that do legal. Okay. So I can't say if it works or not, but usually it works better if you just have this, it just looks a bit more professional. Uh, so other than that, we've got, so you've got contact and contact us. So they're two of the same, same things. I would just, I would just keep the contact, get rid of contact us. Just have one there. Got free shipping today. I'd maybe change this color as well, make it stand out more and put something like free shipping today only. And then, uh, we'll see if you've got any other products. So it's a similar thing. Now I like products like these. Okay. Because they solve a problem. Right, so I was actually contemplating selling uh, these myself, but I just couldn't think of a way I was going to market it properly and, and couldn't think of how it was going to differentiate me from the market, but that could just be me. I could be wrong. So again, a product like these, if you're looking at it, no one, no customer is going to know that you. It, it's a product where you comb the hair off your pet and then you push this button and it gets rid of the hair. No, not many people are going to realize that that's what this does um, just by looking at this photo. I only know that because I've seen this product before. Okay, so it says here this fur remover comb has two, two needle thickness op options, right? But you need to show GIFs. You need to show video of the, of the product being shown how it works. Otherwise, people are just going to look at this and they're going to say, okay, it's just a normal comb. Right? You, need to, you need to show the problem. You need to show why it's why your customer needs it. What problem is it solving? You need to show that because this could be a potentially good product. Again, get rid of these variations here. Just do, I would probably just do one thickness unless there's a reason why you need the thinner needle there. Uh, get rid of the size and get rid of ships from. And again, reviews, you need reviews. Okay, even if it's just one review, just get, get the reviews in. Okay, you need them. So apart from that, this uh, website isn't too bad looking. I'd probably... Uh, improve the quality of this photo, put something different in because it's got gray here, or I know that might be a wall, but I would just do like a full full image here without any gray. Uh, and then um, 
higher quality and potentially maybe some more light in the photo as well. Okay, so we'll go to the next website. So again here, unlock 10% off your first order. Okay, uh, again, I would probably do a, a dollar value for this. I don't mind this one. The only thing with this is that at the bottom, I'd probably put it in the middle of your page. And uh, the rest of that is fine. Okay, so Bottle Buddy. Now this is more a branded store. Okay, you can tell that this is just like a one product store unless I sell a few other products on there. So I think uh, there's a lot of things that can be changed here. So this header here, when it says welcome to our store, just change that to something else. Okay, change it to something else and uh, make the text more on these pages. Make the text bigger, have it jump out at you more because this is like I'm reading, like it's it's almost like I'm reading a uh sort of like a uh, a study on on what this on what this product is it's almost like i'm reading something off an assessment you know you got to you got to make it jump out at you you have to make the even if that's making the text bigger a different color right you need to make it jump out at you now i don't mind that you've got the who we are here but it's all sort of jumbled up on the same page so you've got one photo that shows the product what it does. Then you've got, okay, cool. This is, these are the, you know, the, uh, the pros about the product. Okay, no battery necessary, eco-friendly. These are good, these points here, but you need to incorporate them into the product description more. Okay, so whether that is with GIFs or, uh, you know, video or just better quality photos, I would suggest to order this product and do the photos yourself because this looks like a decent quality product. The quality of the bottle actually looks quite good. And then I would separate this completely. Who we are, okay? I don't, uh, you know, I don't personally like to see it jumbled up with this information. So I'd probably get this here and move it down here or something. I'm not sure if this video is playing. Okay, cool. So you've got a video here. Now, this is probably going to show you how the, uh, how the product works, which is good. I'm not sure if this is your video or not. Um, it's really fine if it's not. Um, I think that's okay and that shows how the product works. That's okay. What I would do is put a thumbnail on the, on the, um, on the video. You can do that in your settings. It, it'll show an option for a thumbnail uh, in your theme editor. So just put a thumbnail. That can just be of the product or whatever. So nice clear image. So people see something before they click on play instead of it just being blank like it was before. I would increase the quality of this. Just um, play around with the size of the image, okay? Because this looks like it could be a really good photo. Now you got reviews down here, which is really good. Even if it's just a couple of reviews, that's fine. And then uh, I would change your email to something more branded, okay? Change it to something like uh, bottlebuddy at support.com or something like that because it's a little bit, different it's a little bit weird when customers come into a store that's branded bottle buddy but their email is something completely different so it's got to be all completely branded right so what i would do see one thing that would also help is having just more information on this bottle okay so instead of saying that this revolutionary bottle stores up to 300 millimeters 500 millimeters most of the time, people don't care about the the quantity, right? I most when I search for things, when I search for different products, whether it's a, even if it's like a mug or something, unless you are going in with the idea that you want a particular size, people don't care about how much water it holds. Okay, people aren't looking at, you know, people aren't going to say, "Wow, this is like this is so cool. It stores three hundred milliliters." No one cares about that. What they care about is you got to push this stuff. It's a four in one. You got to really push this eco-friendly BPA free. Okay. No battery necessary. You push those and you have gifts and you have videos and you have photos that show those things, show the four in one. Okay. Even though this has got a four in one, show it more in depth in gifts. Okay. You can even get gifts from this video. If you really wanted to get gifts from this video and, uh, and just show it, show it being used. Okay. Show that there's no battery necessary. Show show how there's no battery necessary. Don't just tell people. You got to show them. Like shoppers these days are very visual people. 
okay? And then I'd get rid of this photo, put in something, you know, better quality. I would just personally get more photos involved altogether. Not sure if you have more uh, on this page. So, okay, again, uh, the, the product doesn't look too bad, but you need to get rid of this stuff. I would have this as like a drop down menu. You can change that in your settings. Same thing here. And I would just offer less, uh, I would just offer less variations. Okay. If you want one, so this has got a capacity. So what 300 mil water capacity with bag box. I'm not sure what a bag box is. Okay. You need to tell people what this is. Because I can gather that I'm guessing it's like all these extra compartments down here, right? Dog food box, bag box. So I'm guessing this is for the poop bags, right? But you need to you need to tell people that. You need to be more specific. You need to show people, okay? Because you need to basically, it's almost like you're explaining. I think of it like this. You're explaining to your customers what the product is. In It's almost like you're explaining to something, like you're explaining to kids what the product is. That's how simple you've got to make it. It sounds silly, right? I used to think the same thing, but you've got to be really specific and you have to really show your customers what, what the product is. And that's, it literally, it helps convert so much, okay? So I would also, uh, so this is fine. You've got the materials here. That's fine, returns, okay? It's very similar to what I've got on my store. We've got the drop down menus, which is good. I'd get rid of dimensions. Not many people care about the dimensions. Uh, and then shipping. Okay. That is fine. Shipping seems fine. Uh, now you've got, I'm guessing you're, you're in the works with this. Okay. So, uh, free shipping. I'd get rid of this stuff as well. Um, I'd put the free shipping maybe in here or, uh, put it up the top here, free shipping, just so people know. And again, just add in gifts, add in more into the description, not just text. You need to add in more visual, visual stuff and get better quality photos here too. Okay, these, these are not the best quality and it will hurt your conversion, right? The other thing as well is I'd maybe change the color of this banner uh, and maybe get rid of the product in the logo. I would put something else here, whether it's like a drawn image or whether it's like paws, like dog paws or something. Get rid of the get rid of the product in the in the logo because I think it just looks a lot more professional, uh, and as well it will help it will help with branding. Okay, if you don't if you get rid of the the bottle and either just have bottle buddy here, I can't read what it says here either. So I would just stick with the bottle buddy and maybe just put some kind of drawing or or at least some kind of like like art arty kind of image. Right, you can you can Google it or or go on Canva and just change it from the product, okay? And I'd potentially change some of the uh, some of the colors in this because going from black and blue to white and black, it's just it's a bit weird because it's sort of changing color. You have got different colors here, so you got a different color up here, different color here. Even though these two are the same color, you want to be going with the same theme, okay? So I like this here. You got man's best friend. Man's best friend's best friend. Okay, so I would probably change this as well. I know, I see what you're getting at here, but I'd make it, I'd make it, uh, I would even put something here like a real man's best friend, right? Or the friend of the best friend or something. Okay, something a little bit easier. Or I'd just keep it as bottle buddy, like I said before. So apart from that, I think you're in a good direction with the kind of product. Um, there's just a few changes as well. Okay. Uh, on this product page, you need to add reviews as well. Okay, so we'll go to the next product, uh, the next store, sorry. So we've got here, Australia's finest decor. So first thing I can see here is that you've got two different things. You've got the decor shop, and then you've got Australia's finest decor. So I know this could be your, sl your slogan, right? Uh, I think I'm saying that right, your slogan, but you need to make sure that the logo, like the logo says your brand name or people, you need to make sure that people know what, um, you know, what your brand is, the name of your brand is also as well here. I'm guessing you just need to change this. You've got trade decor shop.com.au, but your URL is the decor shop.com.au. This stuff does matter, right? Cause you need to, it needs to be fluent. You know, it needs to be, it needs to be 
fluid, I think the word I'm looking for, with your customers. Everything needs to look the same. Everything needs to say the same thing. Otherwise, people get confused. Okay, so you need to you need to really um, make sure to change this. That's fine. What I would do here is is put your brand name here, the decor shop, instead of Australia's finest decor, because you can you can tell people that it's Australia's finest decor somewhere else. Again, dollar value. Okay, dollar value. I would I would recommend. You can try like with all of these all of these stores. You can try ten percent, but I personally like to see a dollar value. I'm more inclined to sign up to websites when I know I'm getting five dollars off. Okay, when you say ten dollars, ten percent off, it's like okay, but what if I get a product that's like fifteen dollars, you know, ten dollars? But ten ten percent off isn't really gonna matter. If it's like a two hundred dollar item, that might be better. But if I'm getting five dollars off, I know how much I'm getting good off. So that's um again. That's something I would I would look into. So exclusive products for your exclusive home. I'd maybe change this, make it bigger, because this doesn't really tell you what you're selling. Like what are exclusive products? What is an exclusive home? What does that mean? Does that mean that their home is exclusive? Does that mean that their like their home is different to uh, to others? Does that mean that it's personal? It doesn't really tell you tell your customers what you're selling. Okay, so by the looks here, you've got a lot of LED lights. Um, I like this. I actually really like this. The layout of your website is probably the best we've seen so far. Uh, so I really like the layout of this. Next day dispatch guaranteed four to six days delivery Australia wide, which is really good. I like that. Okay. The overall layout theme of your website is quite good. So I like that. Um, these products are good as well. The rainbow, the rainbow uh, sunset projection lamp. And I like this. This is really good. Okay, this is I, I like this kind of stuff because it's it's basically interactive. When you the longer you have your customers stay on your website, the more likely they are to buy. Right. So I like that stuff. Lux floor lamp. Okay. Um, I like this product because I used to sell it myself on Amazon. So I really like that. All of these products here, I I quite like. This magical waterfall is a really good one. I really like that. So. I like the layout of the website. We'll go to the product page. I want to have a look at this. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I like the photos. Um, the branding's good. The branding's on point, in my opinion. So see how you've got the Decor Shop AU. If you want your brand name to be the Decor Shop AU, put it here. Put it in your logo, the Decor Shop AU. If you've changed your logo, obviously you've got to change it on the images. But just make sure that it's all the same. Make sure that this logo is the same as this logo. Okay, I know that the image is the same, but make sure the branding, the naming, the name of your brand is is uh, the same as well. Okay, now, if this is a waterfall, what I would love to see in, in a product like this, which will really help with your conversion, is or really help even get more eyes on the product, is showing it in action. When you have a, a product like a waterfall, uh, you know, even if it's just like a desk waterfall ornament thing, you people love to see the water flowing. Okay, you need even if it's just a GIF. Okay, you could get videos of it to start off with. What I would personally do is get the product ordered. Okay, and if you have, I can tell you right now, if there aren't many of these on the market, uh, what I can tell is like these. This is a pretty good deal for this kind of imp, for this kind of product, right? This is a pretty good deal because. I don't know, I don't really know how big it is. You maybe need to, you've got a little comparison photo here, but maybe show it somewhere else to show how big it is because a lot of these stores are charging like 200 bucks for plus. So this is good. These are This is good pricing. I'd maybe put it at like 59.99 to help increase with conversion or 59.97. If you've got a seven in there, that's really, really good too. But what I would do here, I like the layout, but again, Add some gifts, add some videos. If people see that the water's flowing, like if they see like a moving image of the water, they know that the product's real and that will really help. As well, get reviews. I'm telling you this, I I personally think just because I like the layout of the store, I like the products that you're selling, you could just run Facebook ads or you could just run ads to this product itself or say something like the, the sunset lamp. If you've got reviews, you've got gifts, and uh, show the product being used and why it's good, right? This could be relaxation, this could be here, set the mood, right? If you're showing the features in GIFs and video and really showing how the product works, 
show the water flowing, right? I can guarantee you'll start getting more traction. I think you'll start getting more traction as, as, as long as you're not completely hopeless with, with ads and you know how to actually run a conversion ad, then I'd say uh, you're on the right track here. So this is probably the best store that we've got on here so far because um, I really like the products. But again, get, get uh, reviews. You need reviews, okay? Get reviews, shipping and warranty, delivered within 10 days. So this is really good because, because you have good shipping, shipping times, that's going to really help your conversion, okay? Because a lot of dropshipping stores, they really, they really fail when it comes to shipping because it's 40 plus days and no one wants to wait that long. Okay, so I like this. Get rid of the sharing stuff. Again, no one cares about this. Get rid of that. Just, I've never seen anyone use them, um, even on my stores when I used to have them. So apart from that, I like this. You've got reviews here, okay? Look at how much that changes. The, like, you're looking at this here. This is a really good product. I like this, but you don't know if anyone's used it. You don't know if it's any good. This here, look at that, 17 reviews. I can go to the reviews. Bang, look how much better that looks. That's just already in my eyes, so much better. People have the product. They're using it. Even if you import these from AliExpress, right? This is great. But get gifts in there too. Gifts are huge. They're massive. They, they help so much, okay? With my, with my products, I've noticed such a big increase in, in conversion when you have moving images, when you have video, when you have gifts of the product being used and showing the benefits, okay? I really like this. Again, like I said, I've sold this product myself. I'm trying not to be biased, but these kinds of products are great. And there's a good price, okay? There's a good price for the product too. So overall, I like this layout. Change this to something that speaks to people more. So you could say, you could even say something like completely transform the vibe of your home, right? Just something that's gonna entice people. When you say exclusive products for your exclusive home, it doesn't really hit home anywhere. It's not really specific to anyone, right? So change that up. But overall, got good products. I like the I like the overall layout, the vibe of it. Maybe increase the quality of this image as much as you can. Find something different. Um, but overall, not bad, not bad. So our last store here, we've got uh, sealacc.com.au. So got shop our entire range, free shipping on all orders, all of our net profits will go to charity. So is that all of your, is that all of your, because you've got charity water. Is that all of your sales? Because that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. 23,000. Is that, is this how much you've raised or is this the charity altogether? Because that's pretty cool. Or charity water. This is their if this is your charity, that's really, really cool. Um, but that's pretty cool. If that's if all your profits are going to a charity, that's really, really cool. But let's have a look. Okay, about seal. I like the layout. I like the colors of this because you've got the yellow here. You've got yellow. Okay, you've got yellow and white. So we're going with a, like a lighter colored theme. Yellow. It's really good. I like this. Okay, so we'll go into this. And if these are branded, this is really, really cool. Um, I want to look a little, a little bit more about this site because I'm not sure who the target market is. Sealer in Hebrew means to pause, reflect, and praise. In the same way, we say no to hustle culture and focus on what brings joy to us and others through us. As we are blessed to be a blessing. This will always remain a love project for us. We donate all of our net profits to help our less fortunate friends around the world. That's really cool. That's really cool. I really um, commend you for doing this, this kind of thing, because it's really cool. I would like to know who you're marketing this to, um, because I'm guessing it's mostly a female, like you're targeting mostly females here, just from what I can see just on the way it's laid out. I could be wrong, but I would like to see who you're targeting with this because I like the branding. The logo is good. Um, and I'm just trying to see who you're targeting with the, the products as well. But overall, I don't mind the, um, the layout of it. Now, you, I can see that these are drop shipped, most of these, uh, which is cool. So... Maybe, so if you're sort of, um, it looks like you are taking more of a religious sort of um, marketing end to this, 
which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, again, I'd say the main things here, if you're looking for, it depends on, on what your goal is. If it's just to raise money for charity, then um, obviously the thing is to increase conversion, right? So again, here, it's a very similar thing. Uh, the branding's really, really good. But I think when it comes to each individual product, it depends on what you are trying to sell. And it also depends on things like, I don't know what your shipping time is. Um, you definitely need things like reviews where you can get them, get rid of this stuff, tax uh, included, get rid of that. I like this layout. I like this layout here. Um, how much have we got here? So here's the, here's another thing as well, which might be, it might hurt your conversion is the price because people don't know who the brand is really. It could be a big brand. I could be wrong, but a lot of the time here, these products don't usually sell for this much unless they're like handcrafted, unless they're very personal right? Unless they, I can tell here, yes, there's a personal product. You got a custom photo, but I could be wrong with this, but it depends on how, on who you're targeting and you know, the, the, the actual quality of the product. Now, if you want to sell a product for this amount, I would suggest to do some more gifts or, or just show the product being used. But yeah, overall, uh, I think what's going to help you is depending on where you get the, the products from. Um, I want to try and see w how long the shipping time is, if I can find it. I don't mind this. That's quite good. I like the photos for this. Uh, I don't know. Shipping and delivery. Okay. So 20 to 30 business days. Okay. So I'm guessing these are dropship stores. Uh, there's a, well, sorry, these are from either AliExpress or Somewhere certain Europe countries, US, USA orders could take up to 30 business days. So yeah, I'm guessing you're getting these from AliExpress or or maybe uh, maybe uh, one of those print-on-demand stores, print-on-demand suppliers. Okay, so other than that, um, like I said, I like the layout. But yeah, your products could really do well with maybe playing around with different prices um, because it depends on how much you get them for. If they're print-on-demand, depends sometimes sometimes you have to price them higher to get a good margin in but uh reviews views are a big one and it's really hard see with a store like this because you've got so many products like we'll go to best sellers if these are if these are your actual best sellers i would probably focus majority on this because unless you're an established brand i'm not sure if you have sales yet but when you're an established brand, um, then it makes it easier to to really start offering more products, okay? If you haven't really got any sales yet, I would suggest to focus on a few products, right? Even go as far as like focus on this shirt, the case, and maybe something like this, right? Or And maybe the tote bag or something. But it's... It's very hard to have because this is almost going into like a more general niche store. Um, I can see they've got the branding with the Be The Light and, and I can see the the marketing side you're going for. I can see who you're targeting. But it may be hard to get sales because the mindset for a lot of a lot of sellers is that um, is that the more products you have, the more sales you make. But a lot of the time, it's more about quality over quantity. So if you have, if you already have sales on this, I would focus on the products that are getting sales. If not, then I would just focus on like two to three products and expand from there and really focus on getting reviews for those two to three products. Uh, really focus on, on uh, getting gifts and videos and really selling those products. You'll be surprised at how much easier it will be um, if you, uh, if you focus on that as well. So like I said, I could be wrong. It's hard because I don't know if this store is getting sales, but that's what I would recommend. Apart from that, I like the overall look and feel of the, of the website and, uh, yeah, it's good. And if all your profits go into charity, that is 
like kudos to you that's that's awesome as well i love seeing that so yeah that's uh i'm gonna leave it there put my make my head bigger but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed now i, I would love to do more of these because i love getting insight and and seeing how you guys are going with your dropshipping stores so i hope this video did help you out apart from that if you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you're watching i hope this video helped you out and i'll see you guys in the next one